smoke is quieting down. Seems like we've got to a lot of the smoke. Dub, you got smoke? So, Christian Combs, a.k.a. King Combs, wants to join the smoke and jump in his dad's fight, which is honorable, but I don't know if it may have been the smartest thing to do against 50 Cent. You know what I mean? It's 50 Cent. Now, Christian Combs came out with a song called Pick a Side. He addresses people preying on his family's downfall, and he says the sun will shine for them again. And there will be no busting any U-turns for people that switched up on them. And he gave everybody an aggressive SMD. Now, if you don't know what SMD means, it means sucking my you-know-what. I ain't going to say the rest. But that's what he's saying to all the people that switched up. He starts off the verse by saying, I dare one of you to scream no ditty. So what does that mean? He don't want to hear nobody saying that no more. And if you say it now, he going to run down on you, I guess. You know, then he start then he start talking about how he in the Virgil Maybach all crazy stunting and all of that. He also addresses the police raid. But he tells the people. When they only have 50 cent, who put the city on the map? And he's referring to his pops. You know what I'm saying? In that verse, he said, when you only have 50 cent, who put the city on the map? Like when you had nothing, who put the city on the map? It was Diddy. Diddy was getting y'all shaking and all of that. Had y'all dancing in the city. That's what he basically saying. His dad did it, not 50. Right? He referring to his pops. Then he said his pops has been hated on by many men and then said they can pull up to South Side because they really outside with his mans on the ad libs heavy. His mans was wilding on the ad libs in this track getting crazy. But the heavy reference where I think 50 Cent took a took big offense you know, and most likely he's going to use this in his custody suit with his baby mother, Daphne Joy, because Christian Combs said these dudes sick probably think we plucked his chick, knocked them walls down like when them Fetty boys hit our cribs, but they didn't know we bought the one next door and that's the one they missed. Woo! Hold up. He said these dudes probably sick. They think we plucked this chick. Knocked them walls down like when them Fetty boys hit our cribs. But they didn't know we bought the one next door. And that's the one they missed. Woo. That ball was definitely the cue for 50 Cent to enter the battle. Like you saying you knocked my baby mother walls down, were little homie. I, I, you see, fifty comes from an era, right, where you don't disrespect your elders, and even if you do, you better be prepared for the battle. So I'm guessing Christian Combs is prepared for the battle, right? You know, what I mean, he outside. He say he pull up the south side. You know, very admirable, but it's not. That's smart, I think. You feel me? Especially when you highlighting that your family brought the house next door and the feds missed the house. But then use reference to 50 Sons' mothers with JJ. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. You know, 50, like, I know how to handle this. I'm going to get the lawyer. <laughs> Listen to that verse right now My son is going to be traumatized For the rest of his life Under her care You know Daphne Joy has been on the internet Upset about 50 trying to take her son away But she also has to blame The men she is dealing with On the other side Because they aren't making the situation any better Now 50 went right to IG And made this IG post and in the caption saying, I really don't understand why they why they want to drug woman. And if she can't remember how good it was the next morning, 
How do you connect? That's crazy. That's crazy. 50 is really a monster. But, you know, that's not the end. It's just the beginning. He then went to highlighting the bar about the feds missing the house they brought next door. And said, now, why would you say some ish like that when you know the feds is investigating? 50 is definitely instigating right now and like letting the feds know. (laughs) But then he said, is you stupid or dumb? And I do agree. That was not a flex in this time. That was like a real young move to be like, you know, you missed the house next door and all of that. You know, it's a little crazy. It's a little arrogant. You know, now 50, he left it at that and walked away. But your boy Meek Mill came out of left field with the save for Diddy and Christian Combs. Now, at first, I'm like, yo, Meek, chill. You know, why come out in this beef? But then I'm like, yo, wait, is it is it that real for Meek? His friendship must be really strong with Diddy for him to come out of left field and step into this for Christian Combs. You know, I would think Meek would want to sit out of any negative commentary online or just mind his business because engaging in this one can be tricky. Even though his points made sense, it just wasn't the right timing. And that seems to be the thing with Meek online. But he doesn't care because he is from the streets. And I do understand what he means by that. He is on go at all times. TTG, train to go. But you got to know when to pick your battles at times. I've learned that over the years. So Meek retweeted 50's post about the Fed bars and said, because you're federal, the street niggas from Queens know. That's why you trying to pick on little boys. Your own son hates your guts and mentioned him being grateful to being on an island with his son and his friends on his uh, B-Day. And, you know, that's a little contradictory, though, because Meek is mad at 50 for coming at Christian Combs. But in reality, Christian stepped into his dad's beef. You know, that's one. And two, Meek now is highlighting what he doesn't want 50 to highlight. By retweeting this, what you think you're doing? (laughs) You know, and three, it's not nice to mention someone else's kid in a negative light because just a few days ago, Meek posted on May 6th that his other son can't even wish his other son happy birthday and then tweeted that him and his other son tried to call him 10 times, right? Now, you can't get angry and throw stones like 50 said. Especially if you live in a glass house. Let's be nice, people. Feel me? Let's be nice. You know, we all black. Don't we got to stick together? You know, kumbaya or something. Something like that. You know, Meek didn't stop, though. Of course, you know that. He he, he ain't stopped. That, that you know, <laughs> he, he kept it going. He went to say, y'all, y'all dudes is 50 years old, online beefing with kids. Of course y'all left y'all friends and family behind. Y'all holding the culture back with this hating and manipulation. Then he kept going, talking about how he ran into 50 many times. And the only person that had his back is a guy named Monster, who is a legend. You know what I'm saying? That That protects him. You know what I'm saying? And Meek says the reason he talks like this is because there will be war behind him. And he can do that, basically. You feel me? TTG. Like I said, train to go. But Meek is right about one thing. Black people shouldn't be publicly wanting to see others downfall, especially other blacks, you know. And I say blacks because I'm not specifying whether the person is Jamaican, Haitian, African-American or whatever. You know, for those who are black and are listening, it shouldn't matter where you're from. But we all are one. And it's disgusting to see people pull each other down. Don't allow the traditional ways of media that bring us down to continue. It has to stop somewhere. Now, Meek 
definitely has a point because 50 Cent was the main one highlighting Diddy's case for his son to even feel the need to take up for his pops. 50 was wildin', but I think it was because he had an interest in Daphne Joy. Like I said, it was honorable, but I don't think it was the smartest decision. And I don't think so, because now we don't know what the feds are looking into. 50 Cent just kept going, kept going, talking about Meek's album sales, that Meek shouldn't be on vacation, and also posted a funny clip of Meek Mill singing in the club next to Diddy nearby. You know, I hope these brothers can chill out because they are wildin'. You know what I'm saying? They are bugging out. And 50 did kind of start it. And it started technically over a chick. It always comes down to that, it seems like. It's always a woman involved, right? Now, Meek stepped in. Christian Combs shot it. He stepped in, but defending his dad. So, you know, that makes sense. But all of this stuff should stop. You know, the brothers, chill out. And we'll be back with the five. Yeah. My guy Dub too. That's my man though. Gang gang. That's my man, big dub.